Hi guys, it's Miss Tom back at you with week two of Excellence videos. Last week we focused on the medium of photography and you used your camera phones in order to go around your households and take a series of photos based off of prompts I gave you. This week our medium of choice is going to be drawing and the tools that you'll need are crayons but with the paper peeled off. These just happen to be broken down really small and paper. Any kind of paper will do. You can use notebook paper. Um, if you have any sort of sketchbook paper or computer paper, that'll work too. Um, essentially, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be scavenger hunting around our house for different textures. So a lot of you already know what this is going to look like because you've used texture plates in the classroom in our school. So texture plates, if you remember, jog your memory, they were those plastic plates with different designs on them, but when you felt them, they had textures. So we know textures are something you can feel, the feel of something. Now what you're going to do is you're going to use these tools of yours to go around your house and gather different textures on this sheet of paper by using those objects as texture plates. So for instance, the way we did it was we put our paper on top of the texture plate and you used your crayon and rubbed like this. Remember it was always really important to hold it flat onto the paper like that so that it rubbed. You're not holding it like an actual crayon. So that's the way we use them with texture plates in our classroom. How you're going to use them in your household is you're going to set the paper on top of objects and you're going to rub the crayon on top of that paper on the object. So for instance, if I were to take a texture rubbing of this carpet right here, I would place the paper on top and I would rub the crayon back and forth in order to gather a texture. So that is the texture of my carpet transferred onto paper. Now I'm going to show you guys just a few different examples of things that I gathered. So this one was taken of a placemat on top of the table, like the type of placemat you eat off of. This one, the red one in this corner, is of my wood floor. This one over here is of my fireplace, the stone material that's around my fireplace. And this one was actually taken from a piece of furniture. So honestly, you could probably gather hundreds of textures around your house if you're being super creative and thinking outside of the box. But here's my challenge to you. I want you to try to at least find 10 to 15 different textures around your house, if not more. And obviously change it up, use some different colors too. But if you also want to send your pictures to me, you can send them with my email from the last video. So I would love to see your work. Thanks guys. Have a good one.